Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do my makeup using the art store brushes that I found from the art store. I have been using a few of them already. If you've seen most of my tutorials, you've seen these two brushes right here and this one right here which I usually use for my highlight. So this actually sparked the idea of me trying out a full art brushes tutorial. I don't have anything for foundation so I basically just applied my foundation beforehand and I used the Juno & Co sponge. So without further ado we'll hop right into the video. So I have a few brushes in here and all of these are goat hair except for these four which are synthetic. I think this one right here might be sable hair. It doesn't really say and I've already forgot but usually when you buy art brushes they would have options where the handle is overly long and then there's these ones right here this is actually obnoxiously long already if i were to use this my for my face it doesn't really fit anywhere except i have to use like a jar but this one works great on applying my blush and setting my face so i use this brush for that and this one you already know i've owned this for about a year now and i use this to apply my highlight and I've got these two brushes right here and this is called the mop brushes and these are both goat hairs so I figured I could use this brush right here for my eyes and a little bit on my face and then this one for maybe contouring and blush so what I'm going to do is to set my under eyes I actually have not set it yet I don't want creasing so I'm going to use this brush right here I'm going to use that mainly for the powder face powder because it has a big bristle this brush actually works just as good as a makeup brush the only downside is that it's a little bit prickly so you just have to be careful about that if your face is a little bit sensitive to like prickly stuff then i don't think this could work for you though you could find some synthetic art brushes that you could use for your as your makeup brush or to use to apply your makeup as well and what I like about natural hair bristles is that it picks up a lot of product, especially powder product. I am going to switch over to a smaller brush just to get my under eye a little bit. So I'm going to use this brush right here and this one is number 18. This is a lot softer than the other brush. I've seen a lot of beauty gurus actually use art brushes for their eyes especially this one right here which is great for eyeliner because it has a finer tip and it's a little bit steadier so you could get a precise line i've also seen people use something like this where they use it to carve their eyes or just apply concealer in general because it's synthetic and it's also very stiff so you could get a precise application so what i'm going to do is to apply my bronzer so I'm just going to go and use this big brush right here and use my MAC bronzer. So you can see it picked up a lot of product so you just have to be careful. There's really no point for this video to be honest but I'm just trying to let you guys know that there is definitely a lot of options when it comes to makeup now you don't necessarily have to buy like all makeup brushes because there's some art brushes that basically looks like and performs like the makeup brushes at the end of the day it's up to preference really I'm going to contour my face a little bit so i'm going to go and use this kmart contour palette contour powder i'm going to use this side right here and i'm going to swap over to the smaller brush and really get into Ooh, this brush is actually great for contouring and like the handle tapers at the bottom so it makes you have a lot of control when contouring and so far this brush have worked a lot better than my normal brush that i use face stuff is not really challenging because it just acts like a normal makeup brush i feel like when it comes down to the eyes that's where we are going to get 
a little bit challenge so for my blush today I am going to go and use the shade from the Shanex O the Remix palette and I'm going to use this shade right here called Bessie I have been doing that a lot lately I'm going to use the same brush which is this smaller brush picked up quite a lot of products so just be careful and I'm going to kind of swirl that around so if I picked up too much I'll just go over with it with the brush that we use to set our face for highlighter I'm going to go and use the same palette and I'm going to use this shade right here called Alan Glow and with this brush right here that I use to apply highlight I'm going to pick that up as you can see it picks up a lot of products so just tap it a little bit and it deposits the right amount of product and I have been using this brush for over a year now what I like about this is it's dense enough to pick up the product and it's also fluffy enough to be able to blend it so if I went overboard I could always go back and blend it but so far I really like how this applies my highlight I've picked up the eyeshadow palette that I know that is very pigmented and works great so I have two right here I have the Mellow Cosmetics Sinopia palette and the Revolution Soft X Extra Spice eyeshadow palette so what I am going to do is to go and use this kind of flattish brush right here and use this shade called Pecan to set my lid and I am going to use this brush as a shadow blender since I don't have a fluffier brush to use as a overall blender for the eyeshadow or transition we are going to start off by using this shade right here called brick so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick it up with this brush right here i am going to use this to kind of just tap the eyeshadow since the bristle is a little bit longer it's kind of hard to fluff away the shadow and it will end up being so patchy so i'm just sort of mapping out where I want the shade to go then we are going to use this brush right here as our blender what if I go straight into using this brush I feel like that would work better now what we're going to do is to deepen out the outer V so I'm going to go and use this shade called dust with this brush right here and I'm kind of going to hold it like this and place that darker shade and kind of wiggle the brush to sort of blend it as well. We want the shadow to be placed just on the crease and we kind of use the same brush to sort of fluff it. But see how it creates a very strong line. So we are going to go back to this brush and blend it. We're going to pick up brick to use that to blend the shadow. I am going to pick up a little bit of Merlot, which is this one right here, on a smaller brush. And kind of concentrate that on the inner part of the lid a little bit and slightly underneath the dust shade and then I'm going to pick the same Merlot shade and apply it on the inner part use this brush and we're going back to dust to deepen that a little bit more we need a shade in between brick and merlot so what i'm going to do is to apply this shade called sinopia and then blend that what i'm going to do is to apply a concealer and i'm going to go and use this 
smaller shade right here so we could really get into the middle part going to use this natural hair bristle brush and I want to use a different shade so I'm going to go and use I want to use the shade called everyday from the extra spice palette by revolution I specifically like this brush because it picks up a good amount of product especially the shimmers and you may have seen me use this brush quite a lot I am going to go and use this tiny brush right here and go back to the Sinopia palette and pick up Merlot to blend the shimmers and go back to this big fluffy blender brush for the lower lash line I am going to pick up this brush right here and we're going to go and use brick to pop that on the lower lash line and then I'm going to use Merlot with the same brush and kind of go closer a little bit of dust on the outer V for the inner corner highlight I am going to use this black shade right here and I am going to go and pick up this shade called LA Sun which is a nice gold shade so what I'm going to do is to do the same thing on my other eye and then we'll come back and I will give you guys sort of like my thoughts about eye brushes so here is my finished look Overall, I like how the eye makeup turned out. I'm actually quite surprised that I managed to pull off this eye makeup look using just these brushes right here and all of these are from the art store. The point of this video is that brushes are entirely up to your personal preference but I personally believe that if you could not afford the makeup brushes that are out in the market, go to the art store and try out a bunch of their brushes because I know for the fact that most of them are pretty inexpensive. Go for the natural hair bristle one especially if you wanted to use it for your face. As for the eyeshadow look, I actually have four natural hair bristled brushes that I thought work really great like this brush right here even though it's flat and it's a little bit pinched to the top it did a great job in blending out the eyeshadows this one is by far my favorite because it's very versatile you could use this brush to pack on on the outer corner straight into the crease if you want like a very precise cut crease you could even use this and you could also use this to blend eyeshadows on your lower lash line which I use this brush right here it's a little bit flimsy but if you want to use this for detailed work such as packing colors in the inner corner and sort of blending it into the shimmer it works really great these three are synthetic so I use this one to carve out my lid and it works great and also it could be good as a eyebrow highlighter like if you want to define your eyebrows you could even use this to fill in your eyebrows because it's dense enough to the point where you could create like hair like strokes this liner brush i actually use this to tight line my waterline with an eyeshadow and it's very very precise it's not stiff where if i go and put this on my upper lash line it would poke me and this flat shader brush is great on picking up shimmer I use this brush to pick up the shimmer that I have on my inner corner and it works great I see myself using this brush in the future especially if I wanted to do like a, maybe like a glitter look or any shimmer look I hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and I will catch you on the next video bye